Hi y'all, it's Shelia Edwards here again in this booze and food kitchen. Well, I'm kind of like by the kitchen right now, so I'm doing a couple of things in there. But anyway, how y'all doing today? I hope everything is going great. But let's see if that day has not peaked. We're gonna do our best to get it on up there to make you have a great, 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 great day, even if it's over something really good and boozy to eat. So, you know, Tuesday will be Cinco de Mayo. So I thought, what a better way, you know, I don't really need an excuse to get me some good Mexican food on, but I thought, well, you know what? That's such a great uh, celebratory time. And I've been in education for years and we always celebrate Cinco de Mayo with the beautiful dresses and the beautiful adornments celebrating when the Mexico defeated the French at the Battle of Pueblo. It was just awesome, you know, so, so many festivities go on at that time. So today, we're just gonna cook up a little meal and hopefully some of you will try it and get you in that spirit, getting ready uh, for Cinco de Mayo. And I don't know how um, it's gonna be celebrated this year in your homes, but hopefully you'll find a way to still have that celebration with both you, your children, your family. But today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook up tequila lime chicken. Yes, that's one of my favorite favorite, favorite, favorite chickens. So to go along with that uh, chicken, we're gonna first make a uh, corn salsa that I like to eat with it. And then I cannot eat Mexican food without a little bit of guacamole. So I'm gonna make this corn salsa and then I'm gonna make a little guacamole. And I know you said, girl, you eat two salsas. That's okay. As long as it's not against the law, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so, so we're gonna make those two salsas first and then we're gonna cook up our chicken and then we're gonna be ready to eat this wonderful meal, okay? So you all hang on in there with me. Meet me over here on the counter as we get our two salsas together and then we'll go to the stove for the chicken. All right, what we first need to do is get our marinade together for our um, <clears throat> tequila lime chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and pour a half cup of tequila in here. And I'm using this Jose uh, Cuervo Blue Agave <laughs> Silver Tequila. I'm gonna, that's a half cup that I put in there. And to that, I'm gonna add the juice of two limes. And you know, limes don't give you the most juice in the world. And I'm using this real uh, lightweight bowl here, the plastic bowl, because it gives me that ability to kind of move my chicken around because this is going to be the marinade and I'm going to move it around every 30 minutes over that chicken. So I've already squeezed out as much juice as I could possibly get out of these little dry um, limes. So that's, they do, I mean, I guess this, this is okay. So that's a uh, half right there, put this one in here, and get what I can get out of it, which is, and I'm giving it all I got, ooh, <laughs> see my little muscles flexing over there, okay, so that's uh, two, go ahead and cut this one, and um, it's best that you use a uh, fresh lime if you have them and try to avoid using uh, the stuff in the uh, bottle. This right here, but anytime that you're using fresh, it's, it's just better. It gives you more of a pop in your food. And I like my food to pop, you know. So I think that's hmm, all that that one's gonna give me. Oh, okay. That's why I'm putting it in there. Mm, give it a little squeeze. Alrighty. That's pretty good. That lime juice, you got all you're going to get out of me, sister. Okay, so I've got my uh, lime juice, juice in here, and I've got my, um, my tequila. Now what I'm gonna add to this is 
This is a little uh, vegetable oil. I just, I just got it in a little bottle because I hate keep pulling out that big bottle over there. Uh, this is going to be about a, this is a tablespoon of vegetable oil that I'm adding to this uh, marinade. Marinade because it's going to marry these flavors. And I have um, a little bit of honey. Here I like to use local honey. You know, if you have uh, allergies or something like I do and like my son Binky uh, does. Oh, yeah, probably give me about calling him Binky out here. But Lester, uh, he suffers with uh, allergy problems also. And so I, we, I try to buy local honey for us. Okay, so that's two. Uh, tablespoons of honey and I used only one tablespoon of that um, vegetable oil. Okay, put that over there. And I got some garlic here that I'm going to use hmm, about a, a tablespoon or so of uh, garlic. I got just a little bit in here. I'm going to get that little bit. <laughs> That little bit out. I am not throwing away this little bit of garlic. And you know, I don't open anything new until the old is gone, but eh, that's about it. Okay, so now this is about, mm, about a good uh, tablespoon of garlic, there. a little bit more than a tablespoon of garlic. Okay. And I use minced garlic, but if I uh, had had the fresh garlic in there, I'd probably press it out and use that. Uh, now I'm gonna add a uh, paprika. Uh, I'm using a teaspoon of paprika. If you have the smoke kind, it's better. Um, it gives it a, a, um, more of a sultry, I think, kind of taste, I would say. Yeah, but I just have regular paprika because I don't use it um, that often. And this right here is some ground cumin that I'm adding to this marinade, and I'm also using a teaspoon of that, okay? Now, I'm gonna uh, put, I guess this, this is probably, I'm not big with salt, cause you know, salt doesn't play with your body fairly. So this, I'm gonna use about a half a teaspoon. Mm, yeah, that's about a half a teaspoon of salt that I'm gonna use, and then about a few good, um, Crushes of, uh, of pepper here, cracked pepper, and just regular um, pepper uh, peppercorns that I'm using. So get that in there, crack up. And if y'all wondering what my shirt's saying, it is an SOB, but that's for South of Ville, a good little restaurant that I went to in Memphis, and I was feeling a little nostalgic today, so I put on my South of Ville shirt. Hey there. So I'm gonna um, go ahead and whisk this together and I can feel that honey at the bottom. You wanna make sure that the honey is melted in this marinade before you add your chicken. You can see my pretty little uh, chicken breast over there. I tried to cut as much fat off of them as I could, but honey, they talking about a meat shortage. I may have wanted to leave that little fat on there. I don't know, but anyway, I went ahead and cut it off. Now, I'm doing this marinade and uh, putting this chicken in this marinade right now, but I'm not going to actually cook this chicken until about three hours from now. I just wanted to get the marinade uh, going for all of these um, seasons to marry with this uh, chicken before it's time to uh, cook it. So I'm gonna let it hang out in the refrigerator for about two, maybe three hours, and I'm gonna turn it every 30 minutes or so, or shake it up in, in this little light bowl um, that I'm using. Cause you know, I'm making this tequila, tequila chicken cause you know, as I said, Cinco de Mayo is uh, next week, May 5th. And on uh, Cinco de Mayo, usually I'm at work uh, but this year, of course, I would not be uh, for Cinco de Mayo. Um, and on that day, I like to eat something, you know, like tacos, burritos, or something, you know, just kind of put me in that Cinco kind of mood. So that's what this, I'm doing with this tequila chicken today. And uh, my corn chowder, and I'm going to do a little guacamole there. So yeah, I'm going to put myself right there in the mood. So this is all together. Honey. It tastes good already. 
So now I'm gonna uh, just go ahead and uh, put my chicken in here. Let it get down in that marinade. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what we're doing here. And I've got uh, this is an enough for about uh, five. These are five small uh, chicken breasts. And we're gonna let that that tequila and honey and all of these good flavors, garlic and everything, gonna get down in this chicken for about three hours. And baby, this gonna, ooh, tequila chicken is a good thing. Those of you who out there who cooked it before, you already know what I'm talking about. So yeah, I've uh, rolled it around in here a little bit. And I'm gonna let this uh, sit up. And the only thing I'm gonna do with this uh, chicken a little bit later is, when I take it out of this marinade, I'm probably, I'm gonna just kinda touch it and see what it's like. And uh, if I want to, I'm just gonna put maybe a touch of salt and a little bit of pepper on it before I put it on my, uh, in my skillet rather. So we're gonna pop the top on here. Yeah. Pop the top on here. And then every 30 minutes or so, I'm gonna give this a good shake. I'll put my hand in there and kind of twirl it around to get it really going so everything kind of marries together. And we'll be back in about three hours. Well, since I'm waiting for the chicken to marinate, I thought I'd just go ahead and make my corn salsa that I'm gonna eat uh, with that chicken when I cook it in an hour or so, in, in a couple of hours. Uh, so I'm gonna make this and show you how I put my corn salsa together, and then I'm gonna do a little guac too. So here we go. In this bowl, I have about three cups of corn that was frozen, but it is thawed uh, now. I prefer to use uh, frozen corn uh, because it has a, a more, uh, what is it, a more, not natural, but a um, more um, garden, a garden taste than that um, corn in the can does. And I don't even know if that corn in the can will work or not because I've never tried it. So, with, with, you know, with this recipe, but you know, it might. So what I have on my cutting board here is I've cut, cut up about, um, this is about a half cup of red onions for my uh, corn salsa here. Then I have here, this is a rough chop but this is some fresh cilantro. And I have about, this is about almost a cup of cilantro. So I'm just gonna put that in there, like so. And get that kind of going. This bowl is, ooh, no, this bowl is probably too small. But this is the bowl I wanna keep it in. It's not that many ingredients that goes into here. That's a, the bulk of it there. And this, um, Little bowl right here. I have this is about I'm gonna say mm, a fourth cup of jalapenos. Jalapenos uh, give it that little kick that you want it to have. And then I probably should have used a larger bowl, but mm, I don't know why I didn't, didn't put this in a large bowl. What was I thinking? The three cups of corn I almost took up the whole bowl itself. Okay, so. Now I'm gonna uh, take, I'm gonna put a little, my, go ahead and put my pepper in there. I'm gonna put about, mm, <clears throat> I'll say about a, a, maybe a half teaspoon of a cracked pepper here, okay? Then, you know, so I don't fool with salt too much, so this is gonna be about, mm, about a fourth um, teaspoon of salt, not even, maybe not even a fourth, just enough salt in there uh, so you can taste it, okay? Now, what I wanna do is take my uh, lime here and I'm gonna put this juice over the salsa and then it's uh, pretty much ready, but I'm gonna put a little bit of this uh, boo in my salsa too. Cinco de Mayo, why not? Uh, well, I don't need an occasion. Uh, <laughs> Uh, for the, you know, the booze my food up a little bit because I know that alcohol uh, amps up the taste of uh, your food there. Now, um, in this particular uh, recipe, of course, it's not any, not any of it is gonna burn off because we're not cooking this. We're just making this good salsa, this good corn um, salsa here. 
So whatever you put in it, it is what it is, or uh, whatever strength that uh, you like in there. Okay? So I'm gonna put go back over here and get this a little bit of this. A boo, this little bit of booze in here ain't gonna hurt nothing. Uh, I'm gonna put in here, this is a half tablespoon. There it is. A half tablespoon. And I use this little cup. You know, when I'm pretty much measuring my booze off, put it in there. Boom. Toss that around just a little bit. Look at those pretty colors. And all this is is just some fresh corn, fresh cilantro, a little diced up red, uh, tomatoes here, little jalapeno, salt, pepper, little juice from fresh lime. Hmm. We got ourselves a corn salsa to be ready for that um that uh ooh, tequila lime. Uh, chicken there. Okay, so I got this all mixed up, and I'm just gonna go ahead and set this in the refrigerator because you know how uh, tastes uh, tend to marry when they're uh, together for a little while here. So let me do this right here. Mmm, 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 mmm. Good God, I love cilantro. Yum. I love cilantro. I love these tastes. And that jalapeno brings just the right amount. I'm going to get my top to put on here. Okay. All right. Go ahead and put this in the refrigerator in just a second. I'm going to bring up behind me here. Take off this side, okay? Keep you can go. Cause I'm bringing up my guacamole. Let me wipe this off real quick here. All right, so got a area a little clean there, and I'm gonna bring up. I started on my uh, guacamole here. Okay, so. What I have here, I've already started with uh, my um, uh, avocado there. And let's see. So I left the seed, look, I left the seed in that avocado when I kind of pre-cut it so I wouldn't be taking up too much of your time there. I left that seed in there. And it was one of my friends from Mexico that told me that, that if you leave that seed in the avocado, uh, if you're only going to eat it half, Eat a half of it, leave that seed in the other half, and your avocado won't go brown. Look at that. I left that in here, <laughs> please, child. Thank you. Thank you, friend. She's probably want a name called out over here. <coughs> Ooh, that cilantro got in my throat. <coughs> okay. Am I going to live now? Let me get some water real quick. Okay. Okay, now, so now I've uh, diced that little avocado up there. I'm just gonna scoop it out. So in the bowl, I already started cutting. So this is a half of my avocado here. I'm using two avocados to make my guac. And I'm cutting up chunky like that. And I don't do a lot of mashing because I like chunky uh, guacamole. And I've taken one Roma tomato over here. So there's my guac, I mean my, um, avocado and I'm gonna take my other one here and go ahead and cut it open and I eat a, I eat an avocado a day I love them like that you see look at that beautiful avocado so I'm gonna go ahead and, <clears throat> and cut this one yes okay and of course my little spoon I have here right in the bowl in the bowl I'm gonna scoop this one out Go ahead and I'm gonna take that seed out until I get everything incorporated like I want. I might put both of those seeds in there because it's gonna uh, be a minute uh, before I uh, uh, start eating. Eating is still good. But be careful when you taking those seeds out of those avocados because I've heard that some people, uh, you know, get those avocado hands when they whack like that and they whack too hard and that knife might go a certain way. So be careful. 
uh, when you do that, and they even sell these things uh, now, uh, little things that scoop the avocado and, and all that kind of stuff. It turns it around, so it, it helps you get it out of there and cut it open, all that kind of stuff. And I don't do all that. I just do it this way. And, and you know what? I can sit here and just eat this guacamole, I mean, eat this avocado. I don't need any guacamole, honey. I can just eat this uh, avocado and wash my hands real quick. Okay, I mean, I love, when I say love avocado, honey, I am the love. So then, we kind of bring that together a little bit. <clears throat> then let's see what we got up here. I, I don't know why I'm putting everything in bowls look like they're so small. I've cut up me, uh, this is about, mm, about a fourth cup of red onions for these two avocados right here. I'm going to go in and put that in, and then I have some uh, more fresh cilantro for that, right? Yes. Okay. Now, to that, I'm going to add a few uh, seasonings that I have here. I have mm, this, uh, mm, it's not everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to add to this, please. <clears throat> a little bit of uh, garlic, not too much. I want to so Cause like I said, I could just eat the avocado just itself. I'm gonna put that back. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit of curry in mine. I just love curry, and and it, I put curry in, on a lot of stuff that's not traditionally for curry, but I I just love it. I just, mm. I'm gonna put just a dash of cayenne pepper. Bring up the heat a little bit, I think. I guess, right? And then, I'm ready for my uh, lime that I'm gonna squeeze over in there. This tag off here. Okay, so here we go. Well, these lime, they are just a star today. Lime and cilantro, <laughs> they've been working this show today. They bet, I bet they can't even keep this in the store around May 5th. Good. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna take my other one. Yeah. Good. Oh, and it smells so good, y'all. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Take that. Yes. Put it over there. Then I'm gonna kind of bring this all together. This is kind of the way I like my black. Real, real chunky, 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 chunky. Now I need to put a little bit of um, a little salt, just a ooh, touch of salt. Mm. No food, no salt. And then I go in on it. Yeah. Mm. Bring them down just a little bit, not too much. I, I don't, don't mess with my. Um, Avocados up too much uh, when I'm making my guac. I just don't. Mm -mm. I want to, everything to just know it's there. I want it to stand up and wave at me, honey, when I'm uh, eating my guac. I want it chunky. Like this. I like the way um, Whole Food Market makes their guacamole. It's very, very uh, crunchy. Uh, the tomatoes are pronounced in there. You can just taste everything. So this is this is just my guac, and you see the <laughs> stems of the cilantro in there. I'm, I'm that kind of chunky of a cutter when I, I uh, mine. So yes, this guacamole is beautiful. It smells so good, honey. We need to uh, maybe make Cinco de Mayo. I guess Cinco. And the fifth, and maybe make a cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez <laughs> celebration, honey. Get, yeah, but I don't need an excuse to to eat me a little bit of Mexican food. I love uh, Mexican food. So you see, look, this is about how chunky I like my guac. I don't want. I want when I pick up that. I want to see that. Yes. Mm. Mm. 
and that curry is in there doing what it's supposed to do too. I just like a little curry in mine. If you haven't tried it, take you a little bit of your guacamole, put it to the side, sprinkle a little curry on it, and see how that works out for you. If you don't like it, don't do it, but if you like it, continue to do it. I found I liked it, and I said, hey. So now, I'm gonna kinda, let me pretty this bowl up a little bit. Let me give you a nap. When I open up the bowl, mm -hmm. I want it to be kinda cute. I'm gonna stick these seeds back in. I'm gonna put both of them back in mine until I'm ready to eat. So keep my guac pretty and green. Mm -hmm. Now, when I open it up, I want it to smile at me. I just said, let's just throw that together. So I'm gonna put the top on this. And now I have my guac ready. And I have my corn salsa. So I know some of y'all out there saying, girl, you eating two salsas with that tequila chicken. Can I do that? <laughs> it ain't against the law, is it now? If it's against the law, I'll only eat one. But if it's not against the law, I mean both. So here's this pretty corn again. Corn salsa. Let me spread out so that's pretty too. And it kind of just keeps this color. This pretty baby right here. Isn't that pretty? Y'all gotta say that's pretty. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, beautiful. Okay, so both of these are ready to so now go into the fridge. And we will be cooking up the chicken in, I think it has about another hour. I've turned it twice. So it has about another hour. I'm gonna give it two, maybe three hours, you know, later on. Today we'll cook it and everything will be ready, okay? y'all back in a minute. I've got my skillet warming up here on about a medium setting. Uh, we're getting ready to put this uh, lime, uh, tequila lime uh, chicken on my little grill pan here. So I'm going to put, even though we don't really have to uh, put the pan on there, I just like anything I'm putting in a pan, I like to have a little oil um, underneath there. So, but we, remember we put, um, a tablespoon of oil in our marinade. So I'm going straight from the marinade. Oh, that smells so good. And I've turned, this chicken has been in the refrigerator for about two and a half hours actually. And I turned it uh, every 30 minutes and I can, I can see the little breakdown of it. So I'm gonna go straight from here and I'm using my little grill pan because I hope I, I can get some pretty grill lines on here. So I'm gonna put this in here. Ooh! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Right here. Try to give it a little breathing room there. Smells so good. We're gonna get all five pieces down here. And you can smell all of those a uh, wonderful sauces, um, uh, seasonings rather, that you put in there. So yeah, and there it goes. So the temperatures dropped a little bit on the uh, skillet, as you can see on the pan. So I'm gonna bring the pan back up to a temperature and I'm gonna let this go for about five minutes on uh, this side, then I'm gonna turn it we're gonna go about five or six minutes on the other side until the juices run clear and then our chicken will be ready. So we um, browned it on this side. We let it um, go in the pan for about, it went about six minutes or a little better because I was really trying to get that pretty brown color there but I didn't want to dry out my chicken uh, trying to get it. So we turned it and that's how it's looking on the other side. So it's really about ready for it to um, to come off of here. So I'm just gonna take it out. Look at that. Y'all, and the smell is incredible. The smell, oh my. This tequila, lime chicken, baby, baby, baby. This is the business right here. Yes. And these are some kind of hearty uh, pieces here. But yeah, we got them. So now I'm gonna uh, finish up my uh, plate over here. I'm gonna finish up my plate 
and then we're going to uh, plate this up and I'm going to eat a little bit of something. But I just kind of feel like I'm a little bit of underdress. I'm a little underdressed for this here meal right here. Hmm. Let's get this together. All right, see y'all in a minute. All right, y'all. We finally got this tequila lime chicken on the plate. And I got my guacamole here and my corn salsa also. So two salsas with one chicken. Honey, uh, tell me I'm not bad. But I want to thank you all for being here with me today. I want to honor all of my friends. I mean, I have a lot of friends that are of Spanish descent. And you heard me when I said I felt like I was underdressed. When the juices were coming out that chicken, I said, I don't feel right and my mind got all the way together. And I remembered this beautiful dress that Miss Zelaya made for me when I was at one of the elementary schools. She wanted me to be dressed beautiful for that Cinco de Mayo. And she went home, she looked at me, went home. She was a seamstress to her heart, honey. She looked at me, went home and made this dress and this dress fit. Yes, I thank you so much, Miss Zelaya, for my beautiful dress. I get to wear it every year, and then I hang it right back up under the bag, honey. I take care of this, because this going to be with me. Because I might uh, be asked to be buried in this dress, honey, because this is a beautiful, beautiful dress that Miss Zelaya uh, made for me. Uh, but again, I want to honor all of my friends that are Spanish, and I have so many of them. I honor you. Uh, with this meal, but well, not just you, me too, because I love me some Spanish food. Or oh, some Mexican food, not Spanish food. But I don't know where the origin of all the different foods that I've had through the years that my friends have made for me, because honey, when I taste that ceviche, I think I'm saying it correctly, ceviche, that veche or ceviche, whichever way you say it, <laughs> I'm chopping it up, I know. But that was one of the best dishes, and then I've had just tres leches and uh, just, just, I can't even go on because I'm, I'm going to butcher up the name if I try to say them all. But this right here is one of my uh, favorite dishes also. And I hope in time it becomes one of yours. So I'm going to go ahead and get to eating over here. But before I do that, y'all know I'm going to ask you to show me some love. Show me some love. Come on in and subscribe. Give me a like. And give me some comments. Say something to me on Tuesday, Cinco de Mayo. Um, day and just today just um, enjoy enjoy the life enjoy the beauty of it just enjoy life because I certainly am okay y'all I'll see you all later okay